I mean, I was tilted just watching it from home. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Oh that is, uh, that sucks. sucks. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what happens, dude. I mean, you can't – you got to have that mental fortitude not to go on tilt. Yeah. And, I mean, good stuff to I'm hip. He was – I mean, think about I'm hip. He was down 0-2. Down one stock to three. That literally is like the world's crashing down on you. Stat. It's like yeah. no hope. And then you just pull it through. Like that's that's awesome. But nonetheless, we got the rematch here. K9 versus Razo. And I'm uh I'm looking at these numbers in winner semis, and it wasn't. Uh, I see a big fat zero yeah, next yeah. to K9. Not very good. Again, this is grand finals here at Wednesday night fights. This is Edmund and Korean on the mic. Razo versus K9. Yep, we got K9, of course. Coming from losers, if you guys are just joining us, uh, he's had one heck of a losers run, and if you guys have been watching, you guys kind of witnessed all of it. So, yeah, he's coming in with the wolf. Hasn't been really gone too many other characters here. He did go the Lucina against uh, Razo. Razo, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He went uh, games two and three. Obviously, he's gonna see if he can do it with the wolf this time. Yeah, and I feel like right now the wolf's warmed up. Oh he, yeah. He's been he's been running the wolf exactly. all through losers. Um, I feel like he's got to be feeling pretty confident with the wolf right now. Absolutely. But right now, I mean, Razo, uh, dang, these parries, dude. I feel like if you're not parrying within the next month or so, you're going to just get left behind. Oh, dude. God. I got to get in the lab. <laughs> dude, <laughs> you're, don't get left behind, bro. bro. <laughs> dude, you gave me a month time frame, bro. I was kind of chilling, just like, you know, <laughs> waiting to see when it would happen. Now I'm like, oh, snap. I got to go. I got to go home right now. Parrying, man. Oh, he's got a stitch eye. Oh, oh tosses dang. it up. K9 it's got it. Now. Oh, oh dang! Oh no! Damage. He tried to recatch it, but not gonna happen. I like the nair. That 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 nair had a lot of air mobility on it, like a hard drift left, so wasn't able to punish out of shield there for Razo. Oh, these four smashes are so close, but Razo doing such a great job spacing around them. And yeah, can K9 get the kill? Sometimes, <laughs> I feel like if Wolf doesn't get the kill at around these percents, he's literally waiting till like 160. You know what I mean? It, it's yeah. just it, it. Wolf has insane kill power, yeah. but I just feel like if you miss these windows. Uh oh, uh oh, it can oh. be rough for sure. And so then you have to like basically get a the back throw or back throw or, or dash attack. Dash attack, yeah. All right, but the reverse up B here gonna close it out for S Bruce. But the forward air gonna send him off stage. Don't get oh, hit by the turn. He has the jump. Ooh, the high wolf flash. That double jump almost got caught though. Yeah. That looks that looks like a pretty standard combo against floaties. Falling fair, rising fair, up tilt. Rack you a good thirty percent. Oh, but K9 gonna survive that forward air. I t Another one? I don't think so. Beautiful cross-up, though. Man, here comes the uh, the float cancel air oh. pressure. Able to survive just a little ah. bit longer. <laughs> Lands on the stage oh. and jumps right into Razo's loving arms. That crown going to secure that uh, second stock from King Lang. Yeah. And, it you know, it wasn't necessarily a bad option. Jumping yeah. out of the corner is usually uh, pretty safe. Um, it's, it's one of the quicker options as well. But Razo just with the call-outs, man. Oh, okay. K9 dashing around, trying to find and wait for his opening here. Oh, tricky, tricky. Didn't pull the full air drift on that Nair. And K9 honestly hasn't taken that much damage, so he's definitely looking like he can close out this stock here. Yeah, that up smash was a little bit questionable, especially with uh, Daisy being below the stage at that yep. point. Yeah, Razo is shielding a lot, and <laughs> the minute he decides to drop the shield, the legs are out. It was a mind game, man. Conditioning. Yeah. Yep, really good stuff from K9. It was looking kind of grim, honestly, after after that call out, but yeah, there, there it is again. Yeah, double fair into the. Uh, yeah, you up can always count on that. Yeah, especially yeah, Easy, maybe like against fast fallers. Sure. Fast fallers you usually do the fair into grab yeah. down throw four or dash, dash tag, yeah. but since the floaties you can't grab them because they talk, go up so high, you kind of cash out with that. Not bad, keep it in your back pocket. Wolf mains. Yep. 95% here on Razo, so... Oh, oh my yeah. god! K9 Dang. able to turn that right back around. All right, All right. K9, the wolf be cooking. Yeah, he's looking hot coming out into, yeah. this, into this set. He's coming from loser side, so he's going to have to take Razo uh, two sets to uh, take the tournament for tonight. But the way he's playing, it's looking, it's looking way better. I mean, even just... He, he didn't even win a game against Razo with the Wolf in the last set. But now he's doing 100% better than that set. Actually taking a game. Game two. K9 and Razo, so going to final destination. 
Yeah, Final Destination is a pick. I mean, probably just a comfort pick here for Razo. I mean, essentially, yeah. for the most part, the less platforms you have, the more rain you have of just, like, making air-to-air -air fights or just falling down onto your opponent yeah, with aerials, yeah. which is usually what, I mean, kind of what both these characters want to do, honestly. Yeah, I mean, the meme is like, you know, Fox only FD. Yeah, but this stage, in a lot of situations, is pretty neutral. And oh my gosh. Can I scoop is, with the up smash. Can is going in right now. Yeah, he's got a ton of momentum. Razo trying to put a stop to it, though. Trying to get something started. It has been unsuccessful thus far. A side B that was probably a misinput from K9 and feeling it himself a little bit too much. No, actually, he's, he's feeling it himself uh, the perfect amount. After all, he's got a massive lead right now. Up throw. Okay, probably gonna, oh, okay, down throw here. No back throw, probably doesn't want to sail it just yet. The Nair gonna send Kana into unfavorable position, but the instant wolf flash here, but the up B to ledge. Can he survive? Wow, the fair in retaliation. Oh, Ooh. with the pivot grab and the back throw to put Razo back off stage. That was smooth. Wow, the forward smash gets punished, but not enough to kill. The back air is gonna seal out that soft throw. All right, still 78% here for K9 to work with. Oh, oh he's just gonna charge it down to <laughs> Why, Why not? Uh oh, but if you give oh, Razo this snap, opening. Dude, he, yeah. Ooh, he literally. Give him an inch, <laughs> takes a mile. And FD was the oh. full court combo, man. Oh like, my god. He even got the miss tech into like the jab block. Like, ooh. Yeah, that was easily one of, one of the nastier combos I've seen Razo pull off so far in Ultimate. Oh, yeah. Like, dang. And just like that, off of one opening, because K9 got a little bit greedy with that charge down smash. So oh, stitch oh, eye. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and he caught it. Oh, oh God. He throws it down instead of forward. The back throw should do it. Yeah. Oh, man. And what a turnaround from Raza. Oh, no. What are you? Just stalling out the oh, uh, invincibility. Yeah. I didn't know I didn't know you could go under FD, actually. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Wow. He's barely avoiding that up smash. But not going to avoid the second one. Now we're last stock, 0% each player. And K9 going to land the first oh. hit. Gets a bear string going here. Yeah. Looking like uh, flashbacks of his old main in Smash 4. Yep. <laughs> the chic quarter strings coming in. All right, Brazo still. Man, this is this is the scary part about uh, Peach and Daisy, man. Once they get those turn up set up, they're just throwing out all these crazy hitboxes while they're ledge trapping you. It can be really hard to deal with, and we'll, we'll kind of do the same as well. Man, K9 is on point with these cross ups. Yeah. I really like that um, K9 is starting to utilize the uh, reflector a whole lot more. Uh, it's something that we didn't see in the first set he had versus Razo, and now yeah. now that he, he kind of picked that up against I'm Hip and is realizing that I could be using this in a lot more matchups. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, like, the turnups are such a big problem. Yeah. Um, those turnup buffs are nuts. The jump callout Ooh. will be enough. The forward air is such a powerful move from Daisy. So Razo is going to tie it up one-to-one -one here. Razo looking to uh, close out this set. Uh, from the winner's side, so he's got two more games to do so. Uh, that is, if any, if K9 has anything to say about that, and he's he's looking really, really good right now. Actually, some of the best play I've seen from K9 comes when he's in disadvantage, and what a bigger disadvantage than to be in grand finals from loser's side, having to win two sets against your opponent. That's that's gonna take a lot of stamina. Yeah, that is so, gonna take a lot so that, of stamina. That, that, you that, were playing all of losers bracket yeah. too. You know what I mean? And it's like the way that K9 is playing too. He's playing super like I want to call it ultra instinct, right? He's right up in Razo's face. Like that is that gonna be sustainable for you know these next two games? Potentially another whole set. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be tough being being that aggressive. Um, Oh, the re-grab, I like that. Wow, just like that. A grab and a reset. Doing so much damage here for K9. And yeah, like you said, uh, he's definitely up in his face. He's yeah. not letting him breathe. Yeah, and that was kind of like what I saw. Um, I'm Hip had a lot of success as well. When he started to play better against Razo, it was, it was because he started boxing um, against Daisy rather than trying to space yeah. around the hitboxes. So hit hit her before the hitboxes come out. Right, right. Hit her before she hits you, because when she hits you, it hurts. Oh, yeah. There's Good a down smash offense. sending K9 off stage. Oh, the up smash almost catching that forward air. It is lagless. It can be pretty hard to punish. Oh, 
not enough, even with Pokemon Stadium ceiling. Oh, the Nair though, sus the eye. Oh, hey, see ya. Yeah, that's a that uh that initial hitbox is a pretty strong move. Oh, platform pressure though. Wow. Okay, K9 overshooting the pressure yeah. just a tad bit. Roswell able to get the punish. Now K9 trying to get back center stage. He gets a rising fair. Yeah, but he was retreating with that fair, so he wasn't able yeah. to quite like follow up off of it. Uh, best he could do was shoot a laser, which he didn't really get any damage for either. Oh man, you gotta be careful how you use your laser in these corner situations when you're, especially when your opponent is oh. looking for it. Oh man, almost catches the landing with the grab as well. And right now, K9 is still racking up this damage, but the float cancel bear out of shield. Razo yeah. gonna seal it out without taking too much damage, honestly. Yeah, only 51%. Still, this is really a good start. I feel like at this percent, a forward air is going to lead to a lot for Wolf. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially at these uh, mid percentage, yes. low rage. He gets the Nair, the follow up. Ooh, tries to get the uh, empty land grab there, but not going to quite work out. And we're getting a bunch of trades. Honestly, if you're trading with down air, that's such a good trade for you because you just like to trade one damage for yeah. your whole move. But off stage situation here, the turn up. Okay. Forward air, Razo. Tossing that out, putting K9 back off stage. Yeah, I feel like Razo is going for very, uh, very safe edge guards with yeah. these turnups. But against Wolf, I feel like you can pressure him a lot more. But yeah, it can be scary. It's it's interesting exactly. Um, Wolf's main downfall is the fact that he isn't as strong off stage, so you can go out there and edge guard. But something I've heard from a lot of players at every level is that they're really afraid to go out there because yeah. they're, they're afraid of getting wolf flashed. To right. which I have to say, like, you know, don't don't try to edge guard right by the lip of the stage because that's when you get spiked by right. wolf flash, and that's where it's really dangerous. Was that from K9 bear that killed? Yep. Wow. I usually never see that move kill. Yeah. Yeah, only at extremely high percents such as those. Yeah. yeah. Um, Razo down to his last life here. Yeah, and I, I feel like when you're edge guarding Wolf Flash, you generally want to intersect it at the middle area. Yeah, exactly. You don't even want to be throwing anything by the end because you can get a trade or exactly. you can just straight up beat you. Yeah. But in the middle, you'll just beat out the move clean. And even if you get hit, like it's it, not you're not getting spiked, so it's yeah. it's fine. And and if Wolf burns a Wolf Flash out there, he's more than likely dead anyways. Right. Yeah. So something to keep in mind. They okay, narrow shield and really not going to be able to punish Razo because of the drift back after the down air. But here's the combo starter, the Ooh. nair train. Ooh. Oh, the trade. Oh, and if Razo didn't get a oh. trade there, but wow, he's not done. Yeah. He still got him off stage still here. Still had the jump, able to up beat back to the lip. Even like um, Z drop turn up or turn up throw down in the fair is also really really legit. Oh my God. Especially against like wolves that like to recover low and go up. Really, really good. But right now, K9 keeping the pressure on. Oh, the forward smash. Oh, man. A solid smash attack could definitely be the game oh, at yeah. the correct area of the map here for K9. All right, back throw. Just going to put Razo back off stage. Or tilt. Nope, going to just dash back. Oh, good dash back. Yeah. Going to avoid and whiff punish. That forward air coming out from Razo. K9 playing it very safe on this ledge pressure, but. Razo hits the fair. Oh. The turn up's gonna connect. The setups, okay. K9 just waiting out that turn up. Oh, snap. Oh my god, he rolls twice into the stage. That's a smash four right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, K9. Wow, oh, he goes for dude. it. No way. Oh, oh, he overshot the back air. Oh, man. That, oh, oh, dash attack. Wow, barely Razo surviving. Does K9 want this kill? Oh, he can't go. He does, but he doesn't want to risk it, and he gets attack. dash attacked into the blast zone. Razo taking two games in this set and just one more away from taking the whole thing from Grand on winner side. Yeah, uh, good stuff to Razo. Yeah. K9 was, uh, you know, reactively trying to corner pressure yeah. him or maybe looking for a ledge roll or something, and Razo just sniffed that out, saw the positioning, did a yeah. normal get up, and was just like, well, if you're playing reactive in this situation, you definitely can't react to this, and he just came in with the dash tag. Got him. Yeah, at that, that range, like, very, very hard to react to. Yeah. So it looks like we're going to play the entirety of this set on Pokemon Stadium 2. Why not? Sometimes yeah. I do wish to see some other stages, but <laughs> what can we do? When the, when the music's too good. <laughs> Actually, Smashville music was Smashville bad. music is, is, you say, is bad? It was, it was pretty bad. I like the new song, though. 
The new song's good. Yes. <laughs> the new song, yeah, they should add more. Like, uh, you know what? I won't say all of them. Can we add. get more like music when more. they release the new Animal Crossing? That would be sick, actually. Right? That would make sense. Ooh, the pre shield pressure. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't see why not. Yeah. They, they, uh, there's definitely some series they seem more stingy with, and I don't think Animal Crossing Yeah, is no, more. no way. All right, so we are on Pokemon Stadium, though, and right now, K9, I just feel like Razo's still riding a little bit of that momentum from that Game 3, and Game 3 is a big momentum game for sure. You, you Even if you uh, go end up Game 5, you get the counterpick advantage. Yeah. You just get the swing of momentum coming into Game 4 because you're hot off that win. All right, great down smash, calling the roll in from uh, Razo. I think down smash right there actually covered like multiple options. Yeah. You yeah. get up, get up attack, and the roll. Yeah, and even if you hit the back hit and yeah. it doesn't really kill, it's like, oh, well, I got damage, yeah. I hit him off. Oh man, and Stocks was trading oh, back to back. Hand. Oh, I see it. Dude, he's pulled like five already. Oh, he didn't catch it. 35% for Razo just from that one hit. Stitch Face doing a crazy amount of damage and knockback out of all the turnups. Ooh, there's the back air. I love how the uh, princesses have like little animations for their back airs now. It's so cool. The little flowers, yeah. Flowers and hearts. Yeah. Flowers and hearts. Yeah. All right. Ooh, the up throw turn up. Canine trying to get set up here. Finally gets on stage. Does not up throw fair. Does not connect here. Too much. Too much rage on Wolf. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if uh, like maybe that up throw fair was meant to be a up throw like, back air, and he just didn't. Quite get the turnaround. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a little bit like tougher to do, especially um, since to do an, a normal RAR in this game, you have to be doing in a, in a full run. So you can't really do it from initial dash. You can attack cancel though, which is actually faster. Dude, um, you you want to know what'll blow your mind? Yes. The uh, the fastest way to do a that's not attack cancel. The fastest way to do a RAR bear is uh -huh. the input's literally perfect for the bear. No way. Yeah. I'm gonna go home. Yeah, just <laughs> literally just do perfect pivot bear and That's you'll hilarious. be you'll be like what? And you'll be like, wow, I don't need an attack cancel. <laughs> Alright, so again, once again the stocks are gonna trade back and forth. Yeah, when Void told me that, I was like, what? And I did it, I was like, no way. Easy. Something I did in Smash 4 that actually matters. Yeah. Like <laughs> Quick, someone tell Charlie. Oh yeah, I should tell Charlie. He'll be ecstatic. Yeah, he'll be really happy. Anyways, we got Potentially last stock of the tournament here. Razo uh, down by quite a bit of percent. Dang. And, Especially uh, against a wolf. You know, K9, we were talking about how he was uh, getting real oh. aggressive, but oh. we've been seeing a lot more blaster this stock. Oh, this is how it starts. Oh, oh the call out, no jump. jump. Okay, gonna get back on stage. Jump. All right, Razo trying to end it with the baller racket right there. And you gotta be, oh, it's so scary as K9. He's every time he's trying to jump out of the corner, Rosal's calling it out. At this point, do you, do you just like run? Just be like, yo, you know what? I I'm running in. Oh man, Rosal. This pressure is crazy. Yeah, and I'm so I'm so oh. surprised that turn didn't hit the wolf flash. Like, yeah. dang. Oh, there's the the background screen. Yeah, that's again, one, like when it when like, it goes whoa. through the middle area, it's yeah. it's uh, pretty trippy. Oh, the up smash is. He, oh, I don't even think wolf up smash would kill. So yeah, I respect K9 not going for it. Yeah, you can't you can't edge guard on K9. Dude, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, the low is is hard to edge guard yeah. as wolf. Like low in general is hard to edge guard as wolf unless sure. like a character has a bad recovery. They don't have no hitbox on their on their yeah, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But with with Peach and Daisy to the parasol. Wait a minute. Oh! What? Razo died first what? straight off the top. Dude. No way. Double lightning, bro. Double lightning, dude. That was hype. <laughs> Wow. Dang, dude! And and everyone. I was ready for Raza to pop off. <laughs> like, yeah, game five situation here. No and we we haven't really seen the up tilt coming out from K9. Yeah. Really, like too much to set. So, yeah. Pulled really it out time. at the really the most opportune time for sure. You think that was calculated? He was like, even if he swings bear here, like he dies first. Everything's calculated. Dang. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I can't speak to that, but it was definitely a good, a good call for him to throw out that option. Yeah, um, I think, I think it's the star tag, dude. The Lumas, you know, the, the Luma spirit. The Luma spirit, man. <laughs> All right, so man, we got. Is that, is that the secret? I'm, I'm Super Mario Galaxy fan now too. I'm gonna yes, put a star, get the, the power star, up. Is it gonna be a hollow star or a filled-in star? Oh no, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the filled in one. That's, yeah. that's the, the power up. Are you right? sure? Like the the, the the hollowed one is like you're kind of like a little edgy, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you want a little edge, you know? All right. Then. I already play wolf though. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got enough edges, yeah, you know? I got enough. <laughs> All right. So right now, Razo starting up pretty uh pretty strong, honestly. <laughs> I mean, uh, I like the I like the change of pace in stages though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Totally, man. Just kidding, we're still on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> anyone, anyone just listening in and not actually watching the gameplay, like, don't, Got don't worry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so dash back forth. One thing I really like is Razo has not been getting caught by any of those. And as a Wolf player myself, it gets pretty frustrating when people don't run into my dash back forward <laughs> yeah. matches. So, and I'm, and I'm just like, dang, so I, I just don't kill you at 100 for free? Like, Alright, like, yeah, that's the funny part about about that move is like people like complain about how little end lag it has, but like truthfully, it's like I, I hardly see that move killing out of outside of like a super hard read or someone just like messed up. Like, right. Essentially, for the most part, it's like you wanted to drift in and commit into me, and I dash back and yeah. forward smash the area that you wanted to commit into. Exactly. But it's just nice because it's hard to whiff punish because of the end. So exactly. It's not like a hundred percent safe, but it's it's pretty darn safe. It's good. 147% now on K9, and there's that forward arrow which will delete the stock. Razo pulling himself back into this. Yeah, uh, K9 getting a little too trigger happy with that blaster. You gotta be. Uh, wow, okay. that was smooth. Yeah, that I don't was... even think he meant to do that on purpose. But I, mean, it... I think he did, but it's just like the way it looked. Was yeah, definitely looks nice. smooth. You know what? He did it on purpose. Yeah, for sure. We have the power to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you saw tonight, calculated. <laughs> Cal super calculated. All right, so there's the blaster. And yeah, K9 being, oh, the up throw on the Makes turn up sense. there. Yep, there's the counter play from Razo. Oh, wow, and that spot dodge coming in clutch once again. And man, it, it, it's, spot dodge is like one of those things where it's like, yo, I just won with my spot dodge. Or it's like, yo, I just got forward smash from my spot dodge. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's definitely hit or miss. So, like, you can see uh, K9 trying to position himself in a way where uh, as Razo recovers low that he can maybe cover some options there. But it, it's really, really difficult because of the hitbox of the parasol. Oh, whoa. Yeah, Dude, not gonna do that it. looked like he teleported past Daisy. Like, yeah. Pivot grabs back in his game. <laughs> Running through opponents. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes if they're rolling or spot dodging, you can go through them. As check, long as they're not the like there. <laughs> We're playing on 3.0 now? Oh, wait, the jump. Oh, ah. oh yeah, okay. Yeah, oh. wow. Right now, Razo, I mean, I won't say he's having a difficult time, but K9's been getting the first stocks, and then Razo usually comes back and takes it immediately. Yeah. So we're uh, we're here once again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wednesday night fights, grand finals, down to our last stock. Will Razo be able to close it out from winners, or will K9 get the reset? We're about to find out. Starts up a combo, those double fair to up tilt. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh yeah. Now we're now we're getting the down oh, throw dash yes. attack. Down throw dash attack does so much damage. It's a solid uh, 23 ish. Oh no. Oh, the falling there. Ooh. A solid smash attacker backer will do it here for K9. Brazo's got to be careful, but the anti airs, the up airs, almost string together. Forward smash gets punished on block. Wow, Daisy's got that power to do that. All right, and Razo bringing it right back at 101%, but he gets grabbed by the ledge, putting K9 back off stage. Oh, Ooh. man, that could have gone many different ways. And, and <laughs> Razo was, like, anticipating that wolf flash a little bit earlier because yeah, he threw out like that it. immediate down smash. Oh, four tilt is oh. enough. Wow. K9 able to secure the reset here in Grand Finals in a Dang. game five versus Razo. All right. Yo, it, are we going to see K9 in SoCal hey, PR? dude. Are we? Oh, mm. my God. Dang, How's man. he been doing so far besides tonight here in SoCal since he's been in SoCal? Kind of getting slapped. But yeah. tonight he got a win on <laughs> I'm Hip. He got a yeah. set win on Razo. That's, oh, that's, take that to the bank. Yeah, for sure. Pretty sure. Like, that's pretty Can good. Can he win the tournament, though? We shall see. And there's going to be no change of characters. Same matchup all the way through. Same stage. Starter Stadium may as well make it just everyday stadium. We're, we're not going anywhere Grand else. Stadium. <laughs> Grand Stadium. <laughs> all grand final matches are played here. It's the, new, the new meme is, is uh, PS2, no items, Wolf only. <laughs> All right, That's Smash uh, Ultimate. That's so real 20x actually. Right I feel like both these players kind of easing their way into this uh, second set. A very, very safe. We got 
we got the blasters, yeah. and we got the turnips. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense that both players would want to slow down their gameplay in this moment. They're starting a brand new set, um, trying to look at things with a fresh pair of eyes and yeah. kind of keep things in their back pocket so that their opponent, any adaptation that their opponent made throughout the last set uh, isn't quite as effective. It maybe even cool down, like, because that, that last set was game five, last talk, last yeah. hit. Like, both these guys' hearts must be racing right now, so slow it down the face a little bit, get back, yeah. get your, yeah, like you said, kind of get your mind into this uh, second set here of Grand Finals. Oh, whoa. whoa! Wow! Did not know. Yeah, dude. Definitely did not right. know that. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of nuts. This yeah. game's so sick, dude. Yeah. It's like, I, I just love, I just learn something new about this game every day, and it's, it's so awesome. Oh, wow. He did you right think, under you the think internet. that's going to stop anytime soon? Dude, ever, like, at the end so. of Smash 4, I was still learning new stuff I all the time. This crazy. game has more characters, so incoming. Yeah, <laughs> there's still more to come. So we don't, crazy. we don't even know. Like you know, I hear I, rumors. I, I, this is just season one. Like, yo, I'm expecting like 30 characters. Like, really? Dude, I wouldn't, be be hype. I wouldn't be surprised. Take my money, Nintendo. Do it. <laughs> there's that forward air from Razo, and even out the stock comps, he only took one <laughs> percent that whole time. Jesus. Yeah, dude. And that, wait, well, how do you take one? Maybe a trade? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, not sure. It does like four, like hit one of four till do like very little damage. Oh or something, my maybe. god! Oh no, double jump! Oh, I respect it. I, that fair would have been it. Oh my god! And he's still going. Razo taking uh, K9 all the way to 89 percent. Okay, there's the fair, but Razo was a little too high in the air there. Oh no, down air from K9. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess the fair is like the same thing. He would have ended up on the ledge anyway. Unless you went for like the dank stuff. Yeah, um, you know, I, I, maybe this is just me again. Take it with a grain of salt because I suck. But I, I've gone for that same thing where I will get a, a second down air instead of a forward air. That maybe he's doing it with the A button instead of the C stick. And that in that oh, case, I see, I see. yeah. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The because of the buffer system, right? Oh, uh, it. Wow, he got a dash back forward smash. It worked. Hey man, he just had to dash to the throwing it out so so many times throughout these yeah. this night. So. And just like that, Razo takes the stock right again, and we're here. Right we're here again. again, once again, guys. This, this is still Grand Finals, set number two. <laughs> <laughs> Razo versus K9. Last stock, Pokemon Stadium yeah. two. The stage, the stage hasn't morphed. How or many anything. more times are we gonna say this? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, dude. At least I, I want to see hazards now. Like. Stage morph into Pokemon <laughs> Stadium 1. Yo. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> calm down, calm uh, down. <laughs> we're getting a little too crazy now. <laughs> All right, so the dash card. Man, I feel like Razo is getting punished pretty hard for these oh, these side Bs. Um, K9 is definitely uh, sniffing them out. Oh, the Nair just barely out of range here. Razo oh. trying to catch the jump. The directional air dodge is going to get picked up with the forward tilt. The ledge trap. Oh, down smash. Not going to catch. Oh, man, like, when K9 jumps out of the corner now, he just jumps super high and he's just like hard drift in. Okay, down smash, I like it. Even if it doesn't hit, you're just getting that damage. And the thing about Wolf too is just getting an absurd amount of damage is fine because it's like, all right, well, my dash attack and my dash grab will just kill eventually, so cool. All these blasters still matter. <laughs> yeah. At this percent, I feel like a, a grab, especially if he's facing... Uh the inside of the stage, like right there, Ooh. that grab might have actually been the yeah, stop for I, I, yeah. I think he could have got a shield grab yeah. too, but a little antsy here. Oh man, dash attack the wrong way. Oh, gotta watch how you blast her at these high percents. A falling forward air will do the trick. Oh yeah, and that forward tilt, essentially like a very safe like sword move almost. Ooh, wow, whoa. He just blew up off the top. <laughs> Forward air. Dang, that maneuver though. Yeah. And Razo knew that K9 was fishing for that forward tilt. He was staying grounded. So he just jumped over that position, canceled his uh, upward momentum with the float, and came down with the forward air. Really, really smart stuff so from Razo. I was going to ask, do you think we're going to see a different stage? Uh, I don't think so. Point is now moved. Uh, already selected. Locked and loaded into Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No way. Hey. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you guys for a second. Yeah. Hey on, man, just, I mean, just go ahead and pick it. I know you guys ain't counter picking. At, at the <laughs> I know you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, I'm Soros. sorry, I'm sorry. Whoa. Soros, hey. what? All right. How dare you? This is an interesting. I thought Pokemon Stadium Two was the only legal stage here at this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> this is a. This is gonna be uh, an interesting pick. 
I mean, the the, t the ceiling is much taller than it was in, in um, Smash 4. They think the like top blast zone is now like the like highest, third, or second like highest, third or second highest. Yeah, it's it's, it's up there. Yeah. It's a very high ceiling. Oh, I like the oh. reset. You know, he almost got it. I respect it. Oh, oh hey, wait, oh. the stage is big though. Good tech. You gotta hit that tech. If you don't hit that tech, you're gonna be hurting because uh, he's gonna jab lock you with the neck in the air and then. Yeah. Oh, oh no, he wanted to no. land on the stage. That's not how you wanna start off. All right, K9 taking a deep breath though. Uh, kinda just shrugged it off. Definitely was a little upset about it, but he figures, all right, I gotta just play now. Hey, and right back in there with a down smash at the ledge. Uh, Raza losing his first stock to that. That's the best when you get like a ledge jump or a ledge drop double jump with uh, down smash that early. Oh man, dude. That move is just so strong, especially when you catch it in that position with the tipper right at the edge too. Oof. All right, so K9 was able to bring it back. Ooh, Sour Nair, not able to convert though. Wasn't ready to get crossed up like follow-up wise. Oh, beautifully spaced forward air, but he's not able to connect another. Right, back here from Razo putting K9 back in a dangerous spot. Uh oh, preemptive get up attack right there goes unpunished from K9. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, you gotta watch. Oh. He can auto cancel that. He almost got stretchered, and that oh, will be the stock. Dude. Yeah. It's like the way he had to recover t in order to not land on that platform yeah. put him in the perfect spot to get yeah. sniped by the turnip. So he had he had to burn his jump there, yeah. and then once he burned his jump and sank. Uh oh, no ledge intangibility. Oh. Okay, he's gonna get back. All right, K9 down to his last stock in this game. Yeah, we'll see if we can seal out the stock early here. Um, Razo not letting him. This defense is really nice here. Oh, no. Damn, I, I feel like we're getting a lot of... Ah, yeah, that's it. Oh, oh dang, okay. we alive, we alive. Wait a minute. Oh, the roll behind. Oh, dang, oh, that, oh, that, oh. that worked. All right. <laughs> okay, there the four tilt is yeah. going to close it out. All right, S. Bruce, hey. he's got a dream. Dude. He's got a dream of winning this Wednesday night fight. He can make that dream happen. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just keep doing it. <laughs> Just keep wolf flashing. Oh, man. He made it back onto the stage. Everything is possible now. 19%. Can he get it some more forward air? And oh, jumps laser. right over the laser. Yeah. Putting out that forward air. The crown taking another game. Razo up two now. Uh, really unfortunate for K9 after he SD'd on that very first stock. Yeah, he was able to bring it to last stock, yeah. but he wasn't able to rack up too much damage. But he, like I said, I feel like in right, the corner... Th that didn't work right back to PS2, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I right, SD'd, yeah, I SD'd yeah, 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 is yeah, because of I wasn't on PS2. Town and City sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship ended. I'm friends with PS2 now. Unfri unfriended, <laughs> unfollowed, maybe even the bot. Oh, wait a minute. And Oh, hello? When you when you're down 2-0, yeah. that's that's what happens. I would have really liked to see K9 rock it out with the uh, wolf for every game, but hey, who knows? He has been practicing this character. Yeah. Uh, really interesting time to pull it out. But if he can secure a victory right now and maybe get the switch back to wolf, that's gonna be a big mental victory for K9. It's not looking that way so far though. Yeah. 89 percent. Heavies in general, it's gonna be a little tough. But there are some things that are kind of nice in this matchup. I believe, oh yeah. I believe Tough Guy works against um their dare. Oh. Yeah, like the oh, early hits. Just like walk through that. I believe so. I'm not 100% sure, but I was talking to K9 about it. I guess not. It definitely did not work. Well, I mean, that only the Tough Guy only works for a certain amount of percentage, right? It, it, I believe it's knockback based. I believe. Oh, really? I thought it was percentage based on. Uh, well, it was it, the percentage helped because um, you you have more knockback. Oh, okay. It was kind of like that. I appreciate. Sure. But well, I, I was way. talking to K9 about it, and yeah, because he was practicing practicing this matchup with a uh, boy too, and he was, man, definitely. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, definitely uh, not going according to plan here for K9. Um, yeah, even like this, the cross-ups in general of Biao Shield is really good, but yeah. it just feels like Razo right. knows exactly what to do. I and feel like I want to call it. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, A double jump gone. Yep. Okay. Yeah, wow. And Razo with Ouch. the three stock there. And wow. That yes. was a... Uh, yeah, the, the Bowser got some. Yeah. And I mean, it, it was his call to make. He was down two games, decided to try out the Bowser, and usually pulling out a secondary in such a dire situation. Uh, unfortunate to say but that's a 
that's a circumstance that happens like a, a lot. You know, yeah. Player decides to go their their secondary in a, in a last like hit scenario or a last game scenario and doesn't work out so hot. Yeah. But uh, it looks like uh, Raza wants to jump on for – he's eager for it, dude. Uh, he yeah. said he's going to get some water. All but right, right. Uh, this has been Wednesday Night Fights. And uh, your commentators, Edmund and Korean. Uh, I'm going to jump off. I do got to drive home. 